In today's video, I'm going to be discussing a upgrade for the Black Hawk Night Ops Legacy X6-P flashlight. Now, if you recall from previous product review videos, I did a, a full in-depth review of this flashlight. And at the, its price point, which is around $8, give or take a few dollars, um, it's an excellent buy for a simplistic polymer type of flashlight. Um, this is a type of light you can use as a, a weapon light, uh, you can use it as an EDC light. Uh, I like it because of its price point and the fact that it uses uh, the CR123 batteries. Now, what I don't like about it is that it uses a xenon lamp or a, a regular bulb. And the light output of it is about 65 lumens, so it's not very bright. And it's also kind of got a yellowish hue to it, which is typical for xenon lamps. And you also only get about 120 minutes of runtime. So those are those are some of the the, the negative issues I mentioned in the uh, uh, last review. And one of my subscribers um, left me a comment and mentioned about an LED upgrade. Now. Uh, there wasn't a lot of detail left in the video about that, so uh, it was enough to get me thinking, hey, um, I wonder if I could retrofit an, an, an LED uh, to this flashlight. So I, I took it apart, took some measurements, uh, uh, and basically I came up with the fact that uh, it uses a P60 type LED um, or it uses a P60 type lens assembly. I don't know if that's a, a proper description for it, but that same type of P60 lens design is applicable to the Surefire um, 6P flashlight. Uh, the di dimensions of the, the lens assembly and so on are, are basically the same. And if you go to eBay or to Amazon um, and look for Surefire LED upgrade or Surefire 6P LED upgrade or P60 LED upgrade, you come up with a whole bunch of different options. So that was great. Uh, I managed to verify that the dimensions were compatible. And then it was just a matter of actually finding uh, an item to purchase. So I purchased this item right here off of Amazon, um, and it ran five dollars, and I got free shipping because I'm a Prime member. Um, uh, so for five bucks, it's rated. Um, uh, says it's a Cree R2 LED. It's rated at 250 lumens, uh, drop-in obviously. It works in the 3 to 6 volt range, so that's good. So you can basically use two CR123 batteries or a single 18650 battery. It's, uh, this particular one I chose is single mode, so there's no strobe or no high-low function or anything like that, uh, which basically falls in line with what the Blackhawk uh, X6-P is. It's a single mode flashlight. So um, you either press and hold for momentary light or click it for the light to go on constant. Now I like simplistic modes like this. Um, that's my preference. Um, this LED upgrade just arrived today. Um, it shipped in a manila envelope uh, wrapped in some bubble wrap and in this little plastic bag. So this this is basically what we get. You can see uh, the reflectors kind of got an orange peel appearance to it. And it, what does it say in here? Super bright R2. Now there's two springs on here. There's this one and there's this one. Now this larger outer one will come off. Of course you can see this whole assembly unscrews right here. But it will come off if you need to remove this for your application. Okay. 
Uh, let's see if I can get that back on there. Okay. Um, the upgrade process of this is going to be pretty simple. We're going to unscrew the lens assembly of the Blackhawk X6P. And we'll just set that aside and we'll set the uh, assembly aside. So here is the xenon lamp assembly that ships in the X6P. You'll notice, um, you know, right off the bat, it's very similar to this LED upgrade. The outer diameter is exactly the same. And if we get these kind of in a, uh, there we go. You can see the springs are a little bit longer on the LED upgrade. Well, maybe you can't see that. Let's see if I can get this in frame. So if we hold these up, and there you go. Now you can tell that uh, the springs are just a little bit longer. Uh, not much, and given that these springs compress, uh, it really shouldn't cause a problem in uh, a retrofit. So there's our differences between those two. The, let's see. To do this, we're just going to drop this in. And it obviously fits perfectly from what I can see. And we'll just put this on and screw it down. So uh, it screws all the way down. Uh, so the extra string, or the, the extra string, the extra spring uh, length doesn't cause a problem with tightening this all the way down. Um, you can see what the flashlight looks like with the LED upgrade. And there we go. That is a real simple upgrade for five bucks. Now, I've got nothing to complain about with this flashlight at all. Um, this is a really, this is rated at 250 lumens. I've seen some similar LEDs. Well, I've seen them listed at 250, 450, 600, 800. I, I, some of those claims are probably kind of dubious. Um, I, I don't really believe that one of these is going to do 800 lumens, but now this one rated at 250 uh, is more than ample in my opinion. Um, now you can see, I'll, see, I'll leave the flashlight right there, you can see the beam pattern um, at 250 lumens, uh, or the claimed 250 lumens. Now this flashlight, um, this is a Streamlight Polytac. And this Streamlight, um, this is an older generation Polytac, it's rated at 120 lumens. And you can see the, uh, um, the light right there. Um, and let's see, what else do I have here? I uh, guess you can never have too many flashlights. Um, I've got another Blackhawk flashlight right here. This is the uh, L2A2 Alley flashlight, um, another Blackhawk product. Uh, this is rated at 150 lumens. Let's see. And so basically we've got three beam patterns right there. Um, looking at all three of these, um, the new LED upgrade we just did in the X6-P uh, Blackhawk Legacy, uh, it's um, pure white with a little bit of blue. The Polytac, the second one in the middle here, is a bright white. And the Blackhawk L2A2 Alley, the last one here that I'm moving around, has kind of got more of a uh, whitish yellowish hue to it. The Blackhawk X6P is definitely brighter. Of course, I don't have any meters here, so I, there's absolutely no way I can say, well, this one is, it's 
accurate at 250 lumens, but it's definitely brighter than these other two. And this is underneath the lighting conditions I have right here. Um, and what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to actually dim the light so we can take a look at these three lights and the, their, their light output uh, uh, to get a better comparison. Okay, I've dimmed my, the lights in the, the work area right here so we can get a better idea. Um, I did play around with these uh, a little bit um, down here in my workshop. Um, this LED upgrade uh, for the Blackhawk is definitely brighter than these other two. Um, substantially brighter, um, which may not be uh, that noticeable here. Um, so this is the X6P, and there's the um, L2A2 Blackhawk, and there's the Streamlight. So that's, that's about as scientific as I can get um, with these in my limited work area right here. Um, I'm very happy with this upgrade, especially for the money. I'm going to do this upgrade on all of my uh, X6P Blackhawk flashlights. Um, as for longevity and concerns, well, given that LEDs are more efficient than the xenon lamps, I expect the runtime of this to be substantially longer. Um, I was playing around with this already. I've got well over two hours. The xenon lamp runtime with the CR123 batteries is about two hours, and that's pretty accurate. I've got well over two hours on this already, so the runtime has been increased. Uh, the one thing I am noticing is the head of this. Um, this has been on for a little while. The head of this is pretty warm. Uh, I do believe the, the, the lens is a glass lens on this, um, but this is getting a bit warm. Not so much where it's burning my hands or it's going to melt this polymer, but it is getting warm. Um, but if you're holding the flashlight down here in your hand, um, you're not really going to come in contact with this heated uh, area up here, so I, I don't think that's going to be an issue. Uh, a lot of high output flashlights that I'm familiar with, the heads do get quite warm and you're, you're definitely not going to want to hold on to the, the head of the flashlight after a period of time. So, Well, um, that's the upgrade. Um, I think it's very well worth the $5 upgrade. Um, if anything, uh, the five dollar upgrade with this LED lens is going to give you longer runtime out of the CR123 batteries. Now I use a combination of, of uh, disposable CR123s and I have rechargeables. So it's I prefer flashlights that use a CR123 battery um, uh, because I I can just recharge them or my rechargeables and, and uh, they put them in uh, the flashlight and I'm good to go. So the $5 um, LED upgrade, a very good value in my opinion to extend the runtime of your disposable batteries or extend the runtime of your rechargeables. Uh, the brighter white light, the higher lumen of the uh, LED is, is very desirable. Uh, aside from the uh, heat issue I just mentioned, uh, at this point I don't see really any downside into doing this upgrade. And, well, that's all my talking points. So I highly recommend this upgrade if you have the uh, X6P Blackhawk uh, flashlight. Um, for the money, I'd I, I give it two thumbs up.